So, yeah, I don't think that's part of the show. Oh, and cop, she immediately pulls a gun. Uh, I... <laughs> okay, I like her already. So, yeah, I take it this ain't part of the show. Maybe she is a witch. Okay. And we go on the stage, and strangely enough, everyone was spontaneously combusting into flames, but we seem to be unharmed, although we did have kind of a weird moment with the with this something. It apparently is floating. Yeah, we kind of noticed that too. Hmm? Also, pixelated side boob shot. Also, like this steam right here. Okay, surfer's combat route the bat. And yes, unique to an RPG, we can actually dodge. Like I said, this is an a one of those Ash Adventure ones. And she laughs at a gunshot. Uh oh. Uh, that's not burning in the flames, I don't think. Just as planned. Mm -hmm. well, what is this place? Oh. Okay, she's got Emperor Palpatine like beams. Pretty simple fight. I'm pressing X, and yes, you got a gun. That spear is your, the range of your bullet, uh, of your gun. Variable damage. If you're away from the spear here, you'll either miss or not do as much damage. Are you coming on to me? Apparently she wants our number. What power? The power? The power of voodoo? Who are you? Shh. Eve. Well, it's appropriate for the title of this game. Apparently she knows us. Interesting. Hot flashes. <laughs> well, interesting way to react to a floating girl who fires beams. So, already this isn't normal. And there's a hole here. Well, we can only go this way, so I assume, yeah, she's down there. <laughs> no, let's actually go investigate the sound first. We can get things here. This goes all the way around if you go behind the curtains. It doesn't look like it at first how to get out of here, but if you go outside the curtains, you'll go back to the theater. This game has a little bit of difficulty trying to find the pass because they're white well, can pretty much move everywhere. It's auto scrolling and you know they're pre-rendered. And they always indicate, you know, very much like Final Fantasy VII. And, oh, looks like a human-shaped Slim Jim. I'm probably not far off, either. Spoilers, they were burnt to a crisp. Oh! <laughs> yeah. 
even if she has a gun on. Oh. Interesting place to put your badge. And so we can talk to Mr. Ambulance Guy here. Oh, paramedic, sorry. Spontaneous combustion. The only thing you can think about is fame and being on TV. <laughs> well, most likely it'll be a video game. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Also, I noticed that... I forget, was the dress like that before? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know why we're going to... Everybody's getting burned. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Ooh. Yeah, having burns, I guess, over 80% of your body tends to do that. Uh, apparently won't let me talk to this guy. This guy actually is important to talk to. There we go. Hey, I got the same gun. Yes, bullets. You can talk to this guy... I forget how many times to get bullets. I don't really need all that much, but he'll eventually run out of bullets. Okay, after that sidetrack, I'm going to pause a moment, and uh, when I come back, I will get back to this. Excuse me. Okay, now I'm back. I uh, had to switch controllers, make sure the recording was going well so far, because I'm having to record these in long chunks. And we're good to go. So back into the fray. So yes, unfortunately we don't have a run button. We kind of have to foot slog it here. Ah, uh, the glory days of 1998. All right, so let's go investigate that hole. Time to follow the white rabbit. Yes, jump. And hello. Oh, that can't bode well. It can't be. It's a horror cliche. And iron rings on the side. Climb out. No. Also, I got to mention the fact that she made that jump in high heels without breaking anything. That's pretty damn impressive. So now she's got kind of a, oh god, I can't even think of her name off the top of my head. Resident Evil, um, Well, I don't want to go there just yet. Oh, you know what I'm, uh, you know I'm talking about. So yes, got some very Boating atmosphere. We still got our gun. It's locked. Okay. Can we go in this door? Ah, hard to tell where I have to go to go to these doors. Okay, that's locked. Locked. When does it become Silent Hill? Hmm.
Okay. Ow. A mutated rat. Wow. And we get ammo for killing it. Don't ask me how rats have ammo. It's a Final Fantasy type. It's a, it's a square game. I do not know. So, yeah, there's the twist. If you haven't guessed already or haven't played this game before, this is a National Art PG with horror elements. Yeah. This game actually did give me the chills when I first played it. It's not as campy as, say, Resident Evil. In fact, oh, it's a clown! Screw it, you're a clown. I must kill you. Okay, maybe not. Yeah. Pfft, I'm a cop. What? You're kidding, right? <laughs> See ya. Uh, you maybe you shouldn't go out there with all those rats and stuff. They'd be fine. Or not. Um, before I go out there, yes, you can check the lockers. Fortunately, really picky where I can open these things, I swear. So, yes, ominous music, very creepy atmosphere, yeah. And a very interesting combat system. And we get ammo. So, when people first played this, they were kind of put off because they were expecting, like, a traditional RPG, with maybe in a modern era or whatever, but then, you know, all of a sudden you got, oh no, this ain't, this ain't, you know, high fantasy, no, this is horror, sci-fi, I guess, and more mutated rats, that can fire, fire from their tail. By the way, they're the size of dogs, which I will admit I've seen rats that size in New York. Small dogs. And yes, I've been the uh, oh, we leveled up. Da 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 da. Whatever. We get ammo. But yes, we have action RPG elements, and that must be the clown. We got horror elements. Not only that, there's definitely some ties with, say, Resident Evil, especially because the fact you have to reload your gun. Pretty interesting. Very tactical. Like you said, you can move to a... Yeah, it's the clown. I don't know how you can tell because he looks like, you know, a Twizzler or Slim Jim. Did we say anything else about the clown? Nope. Nope. So yes, weird stuff's going on. People are spontaneously bursting. Animals are spontaneously mutating into horrors from the great beyond. And what look like a virus, I don't know. Well, actually, I do know what's going on. I played this game so many times, but I'm going to leave in suspense for now. And we got a corpse and a phone. Whoa! Ah! And I kind of went through that message real quick. Well, let's check the body. What's this key? Yes, we get the theater key. RPG cliche number 364. Always check the bodies. Sometimes they have key items. And we have a blinking phone here. Nope, no typewriter, just a phone. Yes, we have to notify the department. Okay. Yes, I will save my progress. So we pick, pick an imaginary phone. Okay. And we got a 
box hidden there. And we get medicine. I should show the menu. Okay, it's triangle. We have use item, which we can use our medicines. Uh, you'll notice we have an inventory slot system, just like, uh, say, Resident Evil or, you know, the survival horror genre. So we do have a limit capacity of what we can take and what we can't take, which means, yes, we'll be throwing away keys we don't need later or storing them. Luckily, we do have, like, crates of ammo that we can just store up. Also, if you go to the crate, you can reload your gun. That way, because it actually takes account how many bullets you use as you go in the combat system. So, keep that in mind. And we have heal. Our PE, Parasite Energy. Change weapon. We have a M84. I think that's a Beretta. Standard firearm of cops nowadays. And we get a in vest. I assume that means normal vest. Yes, instead of, you know, suit of armor, fantasy type stuff, we get body armor. User preferences, cursor sound, window position, blah, 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 blah. Yes, you can actually change the colors and arrange your items as it was shown before. Okay, let's go ahead and sort this. And got a parrot. Hot, hot, help, help. Mm, good to know, I guess. Thank you for that useless piece of information. And I didn't mean to do that, sorry. I do believe we can talk to the parrot again, but I don't know if I want to. You'll understand why in a little bit. Yes, now we can unlock the doors we couldn't get to. Books. Diary. I think. Please read the book, Aya. Uh, I know you're pretty and all, but thank you. Diary. November 3rd, Monday. Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. May I ask solo concert in Central Park? Note that later. I hope to get... T uh, took all that medication. Had to get the part. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of foreboding. Uh, November 17th. Cast was announced. This is a double cast. I went to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. Doing it. Hotter. For some reason, I better take my medicine. Hmm. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness when my body got hot. I don't care if I die, I just want to get through the show. Why is she taking care? Never mind. Hmm. Hmm. Another key. Get the rehearse key. Don't want to use that just yet. It, yeah, so we have an actress who apparently was sick or whatever that's taking medicine, and yeah, kind of reminds me of whatever. But that's just the, you know trying to get parts and you know anorexics and kind of common from what I've seen. And we got a closet and get ammo. I don't know why all the stagehands have ammo and guns. Uh, kind of a New York stereotype, if you ask me. What, everyone carries guns in New York? Okay, let's go through this door. And 
Got another parrot. Can we open this? Apparently not. MO6. So if you want to know what happens to the parrot, if you talk to him, uh, that's just staring at me right now. Okay, whatever. Is that a typewriter? Okay, weird. Gotta watch out for random encounters. Well, technically they're not random. Already been here. Oh, watch. I'm gonna have a random encounter now. Yep. Basically, random encounters happen in specific spots, and sometimes they happen, sometimes they don't. You die. I want the. Oh, got a critical. Yes, this game has critical hits. You can kind of get them at point blank range. Another level up. Excellent, and more ammo. Even the rats are packing heat. Oh, my friend just got... And I just went through the door again. That, that was dumb. Hello. I'm not good at these sort of games, am I, folks? Ah, oh, damn it. I forget if I could run away or not. That shows that being able to move is useful to dodge attacks. And more ammo, so I can't complain too much. Alright, let's get out of here. For reals now. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through these doors we couldn't open earlier. Harpsichord or harp. Suit of armor. And we got a closet that won't let me open the door. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know I can open this thing. Attack power by one. Hmm. Oh ho, secret passage. I don't know why this is in a theater. Why would they have a secret passage in a theater? Ooh, get, get some armor. I when I first played through this real quick to get myself re familiar with the game, I forgot about that, so it's kind of obvious you would think. Okay, so armor. I should put on the armor. So yes, we have body armor now. And for some reason, it's still not letting me open this door. Oh, there we go. Ah, rat! Oh, not good. Ow. Okay. Anything... Oh, get a gun. Change weapon to a P222... 220. Not familiar what that is, so... Uh... Yeah, better... Yeah, it's got better range and better stats. I guess I'll go ahead and boost it or something. I don't know. I don't want the club. Yes, there are melee weapons in this game. I will show them off later. Okay. There we go. So 
Let's go this way. Ugh. Touchy doors are touchy. Pretty sick scene here. Now, I gotta mention something now. Of... Okay, this is all theater work, and this is where the stagehands are, right? To get down here, we gotta go through a hole. I haven't seen a stairs yet. And I'll be honest, you don't see one. So, you mean to tell me that the stagehands climb through chains up and down a hole to get to rehearsal? What the hell kind of stage, what kind of production is this? And, yeah, there we go. Yes, the parrots also mutate, which is the reason why I haven't been attacking, uh, talking to them again, because they will mutate. Oh. Level up, and we get scanned. Yes, yeah, so you haven't guessed, Parasite Energy is this game's version of spells. Let's go ahead and open this chest, and we get medicine. Should we use it? Well, not yet. Alright, I'm going to show something off in the combat real quick as I go on. Because now we can move on to this game proper, because we've explored all the doors. And see, no monsters this time. And unlock the door.